Hey, what's up, everybody? It's uh, March 26, 2021, and I got a couple of my best friends in the world <laughs> in the car with me right now, and we're gonna go through Moon Loaf because they think it's it's something you eat. So <laughs> we're gonna go through Moon Loaf a little off-roading right now. Um, I want you guys to meet two of the coolest dudes who, who freaking ever existed, uh, have helped me out so much, and uh, just, just, just animals, just amazing people. This is Curtis. Tonight. Yeah, Curtis and Jacob. <laughs> these are these are these are incredible people, you guys. These are uh, very helpful people who look out for other people ahead of themselves. And uh, you know what? The people who end up doing that reap the rewards of life. And it's it's, it's just it's, it's just very awesome. Thank you guys. It's amazing that you can record and drive with one hand. <laughs> yeah. Lots of times I'll be chilling like this though, so at least my arms like, you know, there's two, yeah, there's yeah. There, there's two hands, yeah. All right. But it's because all my GoPros, it doesn't matter how new they are, like, because uh, I, I have five GoPro Hero eights, and and and. <laughs> if you buy more. <laughs> I thought if I buy more, it'll upload faster. <laughs> But uh, no, they just they just don't upload quickly at all. Um, uh, lots of times when I'm driving, there will there will be something like right there, and I want to catch it really quickly. That uh, yeah, so I, I decide just to most of the time do this. Now, if it's super hectic and I want to get crazy out there, then yeah, I will certainly uh, uh, <laughs> you know yeah. lock it up so I can haul some butt. But that is a pretty hill village. Isn't that beautiful? That's Geronimo. That's our steepest run on Bear Mountain right there. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, duck that over there. <laughs> yeah, dude, dude, those, like, <laughs> just going down, like, the green for me for my birthday, it was devastating <laughs> on me the next day. You a border ski? I'm, um... A skier! <laughs> skier! <laughs> I'm a skier. I'll allow it. <laughs> no judgment here. But the cool thing was to make up for me being a skier, I had one of the best pro snowboarders, especially like five, six, seven years ago, my friend Mike Gray, hanging out with us doing tricks uh, on, on, on the video. Wait a minute, doing tricks? What kind of channel is this? <laughs> <laughs> Hey guys, we got some comedians in here. There, look at that! You got the Jacob back there, the comedian. Uh, yeah. So, um, what we're doing right now is we're just gonna take these guys through Moon Loaf, and this is that that gully that I tell all of you guys about. When we get snow, this gully right here wraps all the way through these neighborhoods, and it's a very safe place for you to bring your kids to go sledding because you don't have to worry about the cars hitting them. They'll slide down one end and go up the other. <laughs> down the gully. <laughs> You know, they just go up and down and all around. They, look, they have like super adorable little houses over here. Yeah, you could just live here. Totally, dude. Yeah, I do. <laughs> <laughs> I do. <laughs> Beautiful. All right, dude. I'm. I don't want to give them the train horn blast. <laughs> no, I, no, I can't do that. I can't do that. They were almost deserving. They were close. They were. They got lucky. You got lucky. You got oh, lucky. She just lost. And she didn't even think. Her off. She didn't even wave to say thank you for letting us pass. Unbelievable. You know what? Um, I'll let her slide. Yeah, we'll let her slide this time. That's fine. So, uh, yeah, wow, guys, it's warm in here. If you guys get cold, let me know. If you guys get cold, let me know. It's uh, 37 degrees outside. Once again, these gullies right here, um, in between these streets, as I say, guys, some parts of it are very steep, have a decent amount of, uh, of length so your kids can can you know gather up a little bit of speed and they'll be safe and then they just climb up one side and sled down and they'll slow down by going up the other and it's just through all these neighborhoods which most people do not know about and typically it's okay to park just just please follow the signs but look at that area guys it's it's huge and just it's just so safe for your kids man don't worry about them getting hit by the cars and stuff like that yeah don't even worry about them yeah, yeah. don't worry about it yeah don't worry about it All right, so uh, yeah, we are in Moon Ridge right now. That sounds good. We're heading into Upper Moon Ridge. Thank you. <laughs> you know, that's, as, as I said, that's what that's what everyone says. But it, it, thanks, guys. I'm glad you guys. Are, yeah, it feels like it's got some. Um, 
Oh, oh dude. Stink. Oh, this thing def definitely does. Oh, well, this thing doesn't have any power, but the drivetrain and everything keeps me stuck to the ground. The tires, uh, this thing's this thing's a beast. Like, uh, it's, it's, like you. it's just like me. <laughs> Full beast mode. Full beast mode, man. And then, uh, yeah. So what loaf are we in right now? This is, uh, this isn't a loaf yet, but this is, yeah, uh, but sweet though. <laughs> <laughs> we haven't eloafed yet. <laughs> oh, right. Can you? And then We're this house loaf. right here, for some reason, reminds me of, of like, uh, the Beetlejuice oh, house wow. in a weird way. I, I don't know. Go. I don't know why. Dumb and Dumber when they're all like Dude, sweaters. Totally. Yeah. <laughs> He's like, he farted. Watch this. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that's. <laughs> I love that movie. I love that movie, man. I love that movie. Yeah, you know what? I want to make sure these guys get to see. That was a ducked up driveway. That was duck duck. Duck duck goose. What's up? <laughs> Look at that duck right there. What the duck? Yeah, man. I have a had a family friend. Uh, they had a house up here. We we grew up with them in Newport Beach, and uh, they had a house up here that had this view right there that looks straight up across to Bear, and they could see, look at that place, and they could see their dad skiing down the mountain. Look at that place. That that's I think I think there's a telescope in there too. I th oh look, yeah, I think there is a telescope in there. Look at the top. Oh wait, no, that's just that's just a skylight. My bad. Oh, no. <laughs> no, no. False alarm. False alarm. Piece of a loaf. Look at dude. Most of these houses are like vacant, and the crazy thing is, there's nothing available up here. It's probably Airbnb. So long yeah, totally, <coughs> totally. Like the Tilly Ranch right here. <laughs> and up here, you're gonna get quite a, a bit more snow. Like the I named my house, but I don't have a sign yet. But I named my house, and I hope you guys. This is the emergency. It's emergency. called Chateau Relaxo. <laughs> and I named that. I stole it from a friend twenty something years ago. So I guess I didn't like come up with it, but still. Hey, it's still yours now. Hey, definitely, definitely. They have such in such such interesting homes up here, man. This is just such a oh, beautiful neighborhood. This is Upper Moon Ridge. So, so are these is this like upper class, big man? Uh, dude, you get like almost the like look, look look at that. It's just like huge thing. Yeah. yeah, like you'll get a tiny little shack right next to a big ass mansion up here. Um, that's just that's just how it is. I actually kind 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 of kind of like it because the market doesn't really fluctuate too gnarly because of things like that. Um, and this is one of the snowiest parts of this whole area, guys, of, of Big Bear, Upper Moon Ridge. And Moon Loaf connects Moon Ridge and Sugar Loaf without having to take the main roads, uh, which can sometimes take an hour and a half to two hours just from my house to get 10 minutes. Oh, that yeah, that's beautiful back there. Like, dude, look at how big that place is right there. It's humongous, man. So, so, dude, guys, guys, seriously. If we each paid like per night, like a thousand bucks <laughs> up here, oh, yeah. like it, if we got like a three thousand a night place, Nina's place was Nina's Nina's book book wasn't even that much, bro. Mm. That'll that'll facilitate everything. Bro. This place like is sweet Airbnb up here, bro. It was Nina's wild. Book. Really? Like, it, was it was huge. Wild. It was like three stories, dude. dude. Standing on the on the on the amazing porch, you stand there and watch people ski. Dude, that's what I, guys, that's, that's what I like to do up here. Yeah. Hey, dude, it's so modern. Look at that. It's crazy cool. You're going to stay here forever. Oh, yeah, look, he's got like a whole telescope. He's got a telescope up there. This guy's like, I'm into astrology. Astronomy? Potato, potato. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Look at that place. And and, oh, and that thing goes windows. down the mountain too. That thing goes down the mountain. Yeah, it's like some grandma standing there looking at it. Yeah. And then look at this house. It's got a bear in the front. Dude, holy crap, we are going. It's got a roller. 
And they have a nice view back there. This Look like, at, man, this all is like these. Beverly Big Bear. <laughs> I've used that term Beverly before. Bear. That's hilarious. Look at this big place. You just like, it, it's, they just sneak up on you, but then they're just overwhelming. I've been looking out at that valley. Like, oh my gosh, every day. Dude. World. I mean, guys, seriously, like, uh, you guys should, <laughs> should, just wear should a, think about buying a place. Here. I would just wear a bear costume and run around. <laughs> 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 I'm a bear. These guys, dude, I'm telling you. Yeah. These guys. All right, guys, so we're heading into what's called Moon, <laughs> Moon Loaf now. It's, it's a small little off-roading part. When there's not much snow, it, it can be pretty rough. Um, and when there's too much snow, it can be pretty rough. And I think we're in the prior of that it's right now. Be pretty rough. Yeah, it's gonna be. It might be oh, pretty rough, but it's a <laughs> it's a very short drive. What we came for. <laughs> <laughs> so literally, this is like like a half a mile strip that's just way up in the hills that gets you from one to one area so to the other. Oh, nice. And the road begins <laughs> when the sidewalk ends. You gotta know these little shorts. Look at look at look. They even have houses back here, dude. Yeah. Like, how sick is that? At the end of the road. You just go all yeah. the way until the side of the road stops and then we're there. That's where I'm at. This is the yeah. end. Yeah. Yeah. And this thing's lifted too, guys. Thank goodness. Or else some of these things we would definitely bottom out on. Oh, <laughs> oh yeah. Hey, oh. Come on. Oh, you don't want to do this? I love this. Oh, okay. Good. <laughs> oh, yeah. That was light, though. That was light. That was light. <laughs> light work. <laughs> yeah, light work. Sometimes, but we have to be careful because cars will be flying like I'm flying like through here too, Hello. going this way. And then this part can get super, super sketchy when there's a lot of snow, or once again. Yeah, dude, you'll just go right over the edge here um, because it'll actually because it, it's sloping way a lot more left than it looks flat. Kind of like when you, when you're on a golf course, you have to take the slope into mm -hmm. consideration. So you'll be sliding that way the whole time. Yeah, it's flat. like and you'll just be like, oh, I mean, it's it, yeah, yeah, totally, dude. That's that's a good point, guys. We do have the trees to kind of keep us to break us break the fall. Break the fall. <laughs> oh man. Yeah, we got handles, bro. We're good. <laughs> that was fun, though. That was a lot of fun. Dude, that's rad. That's just like a shortcut through the neighborhood. Yep. Just better have it. But it gets you from one side of the, uh, or from about a third of the way through the valley to the other, th to the complete opposite so end. If this wasn't here, you'd have to go all the way down and around and back up again. On Big Bear Boulevard, yep. Yep. And that's the way that we're going to head back, though, on Big Bear Boulevard. It's so valuable. Yeah, dude, totally, totally. Some of my YouTube friends have actually uh, used this and thanked me for it, and some of them have gotten stuck and thanked me for it. Because, <laughs> yeah, I do make it clear that it's, it's very dangerous uh, when there's, you know, inclement weather and, and other people driving like bats out of hell through here, so. And it, it, it gets bad. I used to take my Mercedes when I had my, uh, my ML 500. Not up through there. Oh, my gosh. Look at it. Look how big that place is. Holy crap. Just in the middle All of- nice and secluded. Totally, dude. And I passed the road I was, I was talking about, but there's a really steep road that shortcuts up to the to that Moonloaf road. And uh, I got stuck in, in my uh, Mercedes one time on that. But it's the off-roading Mercedes. And that thing was, the, was, was a beast just like this. But I got stuck, kind of sucked. Uh, all right. All right, guys, hang on a moment. I gotta shut this off for a second. We're back on. <laughs> hey. <laughs> okay, guys, we are all three back ready to go. Uh, <laughs> Still big man. Still here. We guys. Went down in the gully. Came back. <laughs> now we're here. It was an emotional gully for me. <laughs> 
Oh man, seriously guys, it's so nice to be be around people that I can be completely free with and just just like when I'm with just you guys and I hit the record button, I'm just totally I'm just I'm just me. It's just it's just awesome. And you guys have helped me to, you know, be a little bit better in what I uh in how I speak on here and be a little more respectful of the youngins and the women's <laughs> The, the women's and children's. So this is the way through town instead of through the building. So uh, you wouldn't necessarily call that the way through to, through through town because basically most most people taking that route will like basically be going to that neighborhood. So, uh, but just, you know the secret. But well, here guys, I'll show you guys right now. This is okay. Highway 38 is right behind us. Okay, that's the second biggest and. Uh, entrance into town highway 38 and so you'd be making this turn you'd be going this way to get into big bear lake where all the resorts are everything all your hotels restaurants this and that so the the the, the closest that you can actually begin to detour and take a shortcut i'm going to show you guys because this saves a ton of time this saves a ton of time so we're not going to stay on big bear boulevard we're just going to take a couple of the streets down and parallel it the whole way this should be your detour video right here. Detour videos on Big Bear. Well, I can't, I don't like to specifically put it because uh, lots of the locals, even though I don't really care, oh, they, you don't they get mad because I give people, yeah. I give the tourists our oh. like shortcuts, but the, but like I always, <laughs> come I always have to, now. dude, I, I always have to explain that like without the tourists, we don't yeah. live here. So have a little more respect, right? Like, like, so, uh, um, I understand. I, I completely understand. I'm not trying to cramp anybody's style, but I'm sense. I'm very cognizant of the reason why I continue to get to live here is because tourists and tourism money uh, infuses this economy up here, and that's what we need. And if we treat them horribly and we just you know, most of the time they're not having a good time up here. Like I learned that at my orientation working at Bear Mountain, less than 15% of people ever come back. And that blew my mind. But when you think about it, like, and I go over this often with, with, with these guys, it's, it's like, it takes forever to, to drive up here. When, when the people come up here, it's when there's snow. So like the, the whole family's coming, they take time off work, that costs money, the drive's miserable. Uh, they charge usurious rates up here when it snows. Uh, <laughs> you know, AKA price gouging and <clears throat> in, in some arenas, at least that's how it seems. Um, and then you have to spend a ton of money for your ski ticket and you like, you hardly get any runs, all the clothing. It, it's just crazy, dude. It's just crazy. So that's why a lot of people do not return. I don't know if I'm going to come back. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, <laughs> <laughs> this is the only part you need to pay attention to, but uh, for so you'll, you'll make a left here on Sawmill to continue going through the whole town. Palm Sunday. It's next Sunday. Is that Easter? I think so. Palm Sunday's Easter. Palm Sunday Easter. I don't know. And then they have these little adorable houses in the middle of pass freaking. Over. Don't pass over it though. And then there's. Oh. That was the name of the thing in there. Oh my gosh. We are. Easter's yeah. on the fourth. Easter's on the fourth, huh? Yes. Wow. We're getting pretty close. What are you guys' plans? You guys gonna be with your kids? That's what we were just talking about. Let's oh. see. These guys have have a little girls. We so got a troop. That's cool, man. Yep. That's cool. I don't have any kids, but every Father's Day when I go to the mailbox, I get a bit nervous. Troop four twenty eight. Uh, <laughs> got Malia, Frankie, and Charlotte. I thought you were gonna say. <laughs> oh, sorry, <Charlotte>. <laughs> <laughs> no, man. These guys right here, just the nicest, nicest, nicest guys. Uh, you, you can imagine what kind of fathers they are. You know, lucky kids, man. Lucky kids to have cool-ass dads. Lucky 
dads to be away from the kids. <laughs> <laughs> oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Look at this guy. Oh, jeez. Oh. So this is, yeah, we're just... How many people live up here? Permanently, five, five like five grand. Wow. That's why it's really hard to maintain any form of a decent lifestyle up here because there's not much income to be made and it's very so the seasonal. the majority of these houses are just vacation homes. Oh, dude. Rental. Yeah, dude. They're oh, yeah. Empty, but the, the crazy thing is, is that, yeah, yeah, and, wow. uh, but there's been like, oh, since this, uh, the, over the last year, there's been just a, a huge influx in property buyers and there's nothing available here. So, you know, right now is a very hot time up here for people who own. <laughs> but yeah, man. Oh, there's my buddy Tom. And that orange truck right there. Sweet. You get to know people up here, you know. It's and when I first moved up here, I got a job at uh, at Domino's. I didn't work there long. Got fired. Um, uh, Cause I stuck up for myself. My manager. Stealing boxes. My man. managers, dude. My 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 manager stole pizzas. stole like the biggest pizzas. order yeah. from Where, me. Where'd the pizza go? My manager stole the biggest order from me uh, to give it to her, her little friend since since I was new and. Uh, that that was like that was like a, a fifty dollar tip type type order, the biggest order they had in like a year, and I was brand new, and she screwed me, and I I stood up for myself. I I, I was not taking it. Dude. I was like, that is so messed up, dude. That is so messed up. So I, I kind of got a little bit upset, lost my job, and then I worked at a, a get the burger for a little bit, and then Radio Shack. Um, Where are we going to lunch, by the way? You're making me hungry now. Um, well, I got to take care of what I take care of. Yeah, take care yeah, of yeah, what yeah, you yeah, do. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm, I'm talking about. You're on my schedule right now. Okay, all right. All right sorry. <laughs> I just, you know, I didn't know what the time schedule was <laughs> exactly for each frame of this video shoot. <laughs> <laughs> No, dude, Wait, this this is gonna be turned off. Hours this is gonna be turned off lunch, real, yeah. real, real quick here. Once once we get back home. Hey, we're in sugar pine. <laughs> sugar loaf, moon pine, moon loaf. Pine, pine loaf. Pine sugar loaf. And here's uh, McAllister. Every time I see the street, I'm always thinking of Home Alone. That's what I was just thinking. Of Shut home up, home. dude. Yeah, Shut yeah. up, dude. Yeah. You guys hear me say that all the time, right? I'm like, oh, that, I'm always McAllister. thinking of, yeah, dude. Yeah, I'm, I'm always thinking of the freaking McAllisters when, <laughs> from Home Alone when I'm on this. But, uh, yeah, so for, like, food, what do you guys fancy? Like, Mexican, American, Mexican, American. Mexican, American. <laughs> <laughs> what's, this, what's something that's just delicious? Dude. Dude. Let's go get a lobster sandwich. What the fuck is that? <laughs> what the duck is that, guys? <laughs> Dude, I you guys see seafood. Oh, okay. But I, I can have a sandwich. Um, well, that's they. Sorry. Sandwich. Sandwich. No, dude, yeah. dude, don't even I'll trip. I'll try, but I, I no. feel bad if I didn't like. Dude, it. I don't dude, like like don't even trip. There's, be there's so much more, and that's not even like big bear food anyway, really. Um. And it's like 25 bucks for like a sandwich. Pretty much down for whatever. Where, I mean, where do you, is there other things at this place that yeah. have lobster sandwich? Uh, oh, no, no, dude, I don't need a lobster sandwich. Um, it just sounded okay. As, uh, do they have the whole lobster hanging out of the sandwich? It's like, still alive, yeah. Shit? Yeah, and it's totally still alive. It's awesome, yeah. Yeah, you, you bite into it, it's like, <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding. Just kidding. Some, they might be bad. Yeah. yeah. Be I'm not really doing that. You won't put that on my <laughs> or the part where you suck out the eyeballs yeah we'll leave that out <laughs> with a fork and knife hey you fork and fork and knife um so let's see we've got uh, there's actually quite but you know what broadway burger yeah that's a burger. that's a popular joint up here yeah okay all right all right cool guys well, it's on me! Yay! 
No, I want, I'd rather you didn't open it. <laughs> Good. Didn't we talk earlier? <laughs> I want it eaten on me. All right. My buddy lives right in this little wood house right here. It's a cool, cool. wood house. Cool. <laughs> 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 this, this little wood house. This little house made of wood. Little house made of wood. And now we are coming up to Moon Ridge Road. And if this restaurant was open, we would go there because they they used to have really great great sandwiches. It's uh, a, it was a German deli. You don't like German deli? Oh, I love deli. Oh, I love all deli. I love the deli too. Yeah. There's a Japanese deli I found. All right, guys, well, I'm going to shut you guys off right here, but I want you guys to, to, to say bye to the two of the coolest people and thank them for coming up to visit me because you guys know how alone I am up here. So we love you guys, man. Peace. Thank you guys for everything. Thanks for all the love and support. And, uh, yeah, come up here and uh, enjoy the little bit of uh, ski resort time we have left, guys. And then we're transitioning to the lake. Peace.